We're James Caldwell High School, Team A, and for the demo show, we'll be presenting a gravity cell. In this experiment, a current will be created between a copper cathode and a zinc anode. This will be able to be hooked up to a small motor, and the small motor will be able to run for over an hour. When performing this experiment, it's important to be aware that copper compounds can be toxic, so care should be taken when creating the copper electrode. To start our experiment, we're going to add about 250 milliliters of 0.01 molar zinc sulfate. Next, we add one molar copper sulfate solution through a long stem funnel. We have to do this because the solution must be below the zinc. Because the copper solution is more dense than the zinc solution, the zinc solution will float above it. The solution must be added slowly to prevent as little mixing as possible. The next step after both solutions are added is to insert both electrodes. This copper electrode was created by wrapping sheets of uh, copper around itself. It must be inserted slowly to prevent mixing as we did before with the copper solution. Then we add the zinc electrode. The two plates must not touch. The two plates must lie parallel in order for the voltaic cell to work. Finally, we much as, must attach a clip to the tab of each electrode. Once inertia has been overcome, the wheel of the motor should start to spin. Once it overcomes inertia, the motor can run for over an hour. In this voltaic cell, electrons are able to flow through the wire from the easily oxidized zinc to the less easily oxidized copper. At the zinc anode, zinc atoms are oxidized to zinc ions and lose two electrons. At the copper cathode, copper ions are reduced to solid copper as they gain two electrons. This is the overall reaction and as you can see, it produces enough current or movement of electrons to power a small motor for over an hour.